Like other parts of half-track vehicles, the bogey wheels are designed and built to give long, trouble-free life, provided they get proper, regular care. But whenever you do have to replace bogey wheels, the job can be done more easily and quickly by going about it in the right way. Bogey wheels can be removed with the track either on or off the vehicle. To remove one with the track off, first the bolts that hold the upper support roller assembly should be taken off. A good way to avoid losing these bolts is to drop each one into your pocket as you remove it. Depending on whether a wheel is to be taken off a left or right hand assembly, the roller assembly is used as a block under the opposite bogey frame shaft. For this job, a volute spring compressor is used to keep the volute springs under normal compression. If a special compressor of this type is not available, use the two 7 8 inch bolts provided for this job. Put the two bolts into the holes in the top of the bogey frame bracket. These bolts hold the cross plate so that the compressor bolt can be turned down, which relieves the pressure between the wear plates on the crabs and on the bogey arms, one of which must be removed to take off the wheel. If in order to take off the track, a chain was used to keep the volute springs under normal compression, the chain is removed at this point. But first, you have to turn down the spring compressor far enough to loosen the chain. Otherwise, you won't be able to take off the chain. If special C-clamps have been used to remove the track, the one on the bogey arm that must be removed is taken off. Next, remove the nut on the bogey arm tie bolt, and whenever possible, always pull up on a nut, whether loosening or tightening it. Otherwise, you may have to get your nose straightened if the wrench slips. The next step is to remove the nut from the bogey frame shaft, again following the precaution of pulling up and not pushing down on it. To get the bogey arm off, drive a wedge between the arm and the frame. But be careful not to damage the tie bolt. If the arm still sticks, the frame can be tapped with a hammer in order to free it so that the arm can be removed. Next, free the entire four-wheel bogey unit by pushing it under the vehicle. But to do this, remember that the jack must be set far enough away from the track to permit the arm to clear it as the unit is pushed and pried inward. Now you can roll the entire unit out from under the vehicle to give yourself room in which to take off the bogey wheel. To do this, first remove the nuts from both side arm frame shafts. Then loosen the outer frame with a hammer so that you can slide it off. If you want to replace an outer wheel, remove the six flange nuts. Then you can pry the wheel free of the flange.
If an inner wheel is to be replaced, drive the shaft through the hub. Use a brass drift to drive it and be extremely careful. Otherwise, not only can the threads of the shaft be damaged, the bearings can be ruined. It's awfully easy to ruin a bearing at this time if you aren't very careful. Once the shaft has been removed, you can roll the dual wheels free. Then, as with the outer wheel, take off the flange nuts and pry the wheel free of the flange. Before installing bogey wheels, always make it a point to inspect the inside surfaces of the flanges carefully. If a flange is damaged or badly worn, as in this case, don't use the hub assembly. It should be sent to salvage. While a bogey wheel is installed simply by following the reverse order of removal, there are a few additional things to watch for while you're doing this job. Notice that all parts and tools are laid on a cloth to keep them clean. If there is the slightest sign of dust flying about, the parts, particularly the bearings, should be covered with cloth or paper to protect them. When putting the assembly in place, always make sure that the lubrication fitting faces outward so that it can be reached when you're doing lubrication work. Another point, be very careful when putting the shaft through the hub. First, clean it thoroughly and then give it a little grease. Also be sure that the bearing spacer is lined up properly when starting the shaft through the hub. If it isn't, chances are you'll have to get another shaft and spacer because they'll be ruined. Before putting on the bogey sidearm, Notice that one surface is level, while the other has a slight ridge. The ridge should always be on top. And when sliding on the arm, raise it slightly and get it past the threads of the shaft before tapping it into place. Otherwise, here's another way to damage a shaft. Finally, when putting on the upper support roller bracket, be sure that its lubrication fitting also faces outward so that this part won't be skipped during a lubrication job. To remove a bogey wheel or assembly while the track is on the vehicle, first the bolts of the support roller are removed. Again, Putting the bolts in your pocket will avoid losing them, especially if working in the dark. Next, loosen the track tension adjusting nut and push the rear idler forward about halfway so that the track will clear the bogey frame bracket assembly about four inches. During this job, the volute springs are kept under normal compression by means of special bogey crab hooks. To use them, first remove one hook from the cross plate. Slip the other hook under one bogey crab arm. Then slip the first hook under the other bogey crab arm and attach it to the cross plate again. When both hooks are in place, pull up the nut snugly and the device will keep the volute springs under normal compression. With the vehicle jacked up so there is about one inch clearance between the wear plates, remove the nut on the bogey arm tie bolt and the nut on the bogey frame shaft. From this point on, 
you can either remove the entire four-wheel unit or you can remove a single wheel. To remove a wheel, first take off all the nuts of the flange. When this has been done, the outer wheel can be loosened by prying a tire iron between the flange and the tire. Then you can pull the outer wheel free. Following the method shown for removing and replacing bogey wheels can save you a great deal of time, trouble, and hard work. It can also cut down the deadline time of any half-track vehicle, time better spent in performing its important work for the Army. <laughs>